Adventures with Barbie Ocean Discovery, released in 2001. So the game starts off with Barbie reading a book to her pet dolphin, Sandy. It talks about a lost treasure under the sea when Barbie suddenly finds a piece to the treasure map. Now Barbie wants to find this treasure and donate the money to help marine life. And the very handsome Ken with his cool hat and rebel voice agrees. Sounds like a good plan, Barbie. I'll stay here and look after the boat while you search underwater. Call me on your video watch and let me know how you're doing. But there's one person who doesn't agree, the evil Captain Barnacle. I am Captain Barnacle, great-great-grandson of Captain Billows. You'll never find the treasure. It was meant for me. All of your pathetic sea creature friends can look after themselves. You don't scare me, Captain Barnacle. So now Barbie has an evil nemesis to face, so the race for the treasure is on. Good luck! Uh, Barbie, you, you forgot your breathing apparatus. Okay, uh, Barbie appears to be able to breathe underwater. Uh, can everyone in Barbie Land breathe underwater? Well, no, we just seen Captain Barnacle in full diving gear, so obviously not. This means that Barbie is not only an astronaut, a dentist, but she is also a amphibian. So, nice crowded sea with lots of stuff going on. Barbie can swim in multiple directions and go to various places to explore, all separated into areas. The bottom of the screen is full of all these... Well, kind of useless items. You can snap a photo, uh, look at a cryptic treasure map, and a magnifying glass and a flashlight. And the magnifying glass and flashlight, I found no use for these things anywhere. I, I don't see the point of them. Each of the areas have very simple mini games to play. Here you'll be putting a puzzle together. This one here is a match game with fish hiding behind seashells. And here's one where you try to catch matching colored bubbles. There's a whole bunch of these uh, little games you need to beat to progress to get the treasure. And the entire Way Captain Barnacle is uh, taunting you. Captain Barnacle tries to trap fish in seaweed nets and sells the trapped sea creatures to aquariums. Ooh. He's a selfish man. But I give them such lovely homes in tiny glass tanks. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? Not only does he capture and sell sea animals, but he gets pleasure out of their small confined spaces. Now there's been a lot of evil villains in video games, but uh, were any of them evil enough to actually turn and look at a goldfish caught in a bowl and take a moment to laugh about it? None of them would, but Captain Barnacle would. It takes a real special evil for that. This guy just might be the most evil video game villain ever. Now I wasn't exactly having the time of my life playing this, but one thing Barbie Ocean Discovery did do right was you were looking forward to entering a new area. New sea creatures to meet, new things to interact with. However, the uh, mini games aren't too impressive and the story is pretty generic. I think a uh, larger ocean to explore would have been better to some degree, but if the game was too long, you'd probably start getting bored pretty fast. Luckily, they kind of seen that and didn't make the game too long. So overall, this isn't a particularly great game and there's definitely better Barbie games out there but if you like Barbie's uh, sea life and treasure hunting, this game might be for you. Me, I just can't get over the fact that she's not wearing a mask. Anyway, there you have it, Adventures with Barbie Ocean Discovery. Thanks for watching.